Um, so we're actually going to be introducing animated AVIF into our supported um, image formats here. So I want to talk to you a little bit about that particular format and some of its advantages that it has. So this is really meant to be ultimately a replacer for the animated GIF format. Um, now animated GIF, I don't know off the top of my head the specific date um, that that format was introduced to the world, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit older <laughs> than I am. Um, and one of the reasons it's kind of held on to popularity for as long as it can has at this point um, is that it's just so widely supported um, both by browsers and email clients that it's kind of a one format to rule them all when you want to produce animated content for the web. Now, the drawback with its age is that it comes with some pretty severe trade-offs. Um, we're actually going to look at a couple of those today. Um, but there are some things built into the animated GIF format that really limit what it's capable of doing. Um, the first of those being um, it uses a limited color set in the image. So if you're familiar with the way that regular still GIFs work, um, you are essentially limited to a selection of 256 colors um, that make up the pixels in the overall image. And that is true of animated GIFs as well. Um, so particularly when you're doing things with multiple frames, that color limitation can really cause some degradation in the image format. And then the other that's worth noting as well is it's just not that efficient of a format either. Um, it's kind of shown its age there. Um, and one of the things that Cloudinary has actually recommended for quite a long time um, is that people favor the use of animated and looped MP4 videos to kind of replicate um, the format of that animated container. Um, you can actually set up an MP4 video element on your website and tell it to play looped and muted um, to kind of get that same autoplay functionality that you would get with an animated GIF. And then also have a much better performance in terms of file format and overall performance. Now, um, with the implementation of animated AVIF, we have even better options. Um, this is based on the AV1 video codec um, that came out in 2019. Um, and you're going to see in just a moment that this really adds some major quality compressions um, or trade-offs to um, working with this kind of animated content. Now, there are a few drawbacks as well. Currently, um, Google Chrome is the only browser that really supports this out in the wild. Um, it's been part of their um, main line feature spec since Chrome 85. So that's, it's been a while for, uh, it's been around for a little while now. However, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari aren't yet supporting it. Um, we do think that because it is an open source um, codec that this is based off of, so there's decent odds um, that we will end up seeing this supported in other browsers, particularly those like Edge um, that are Chromium based. It's pretty likely that those would come along pretty soon. Um, and hopefully it will reach the same broad market um, appeal that animated GIF has uh, enjoyed as well um, so that we have a good replacement format. Now, that being said, um, one of the things that Cloudinary is already looking at is adding support for animated in uh, AVIF into our F-Auto container or our F-Auto transformation, I should say. Um, what that would do is kind of allow you to put some of the browser detection responsibilities onto Cloudinary's shoulders so that if we detected support for animated GIF um, or only support for animated GIF, I should say, um, when we're serving up an image, we would um, default to that legacy format. But when communicating with newer devices that have picked up animated AVIF, it would give us the option of serving that more modernized image container. So um, keep that in mind and be on the lookout that for that probably soon. Um, but this may not be something that you want to implement right away, um, depending on how much of that browser detection and kind of fallback work you want to take ownership of. Um, Cloudinary will provide some better tools um, in the future for making this something that is easier to deploy um, as we have with our other like F auto uses for image and video content. So let's actually take a look at one real quick. Um, 
So this is actually already saved as an animated AVIF um, as we're looking at it right now. So you can tell um, it's got a really great um, overall image quality, very little degradation in the image overall, um, not noticing any loss of color quality or anything like that. And if we actually inspect this image a little bit, um, what we're looking at here is about 141 kilobytes in total size, um, which is pretty lean for an animated piece of content of this size. Um, so what I want to compare that to is actually showing you what this would look like as an animated GIF. Now we can do that simply by changing the extension um, or calling the format underscore GIF transformation, whichever way you prefer to do it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and change this extension here so that we're now looking at that same image as a animated GIF. Now, luckily with this particular image, I don't personally notice any quality degradations between one and the other. So this is again, the animated AVIF that we're looking at. And now if I flip to the animated GIF, um, I really don't notice much in the way of color loss or image degradation from that in this particular image. However, what we're paying to get that particular animated content has drastically increased. So now this particular image is using 6.2 megabytes of file weight. So you can imagine if you've got a page that serves a large number of animated GIFs as part of its content set, you're really going to pay in total page weight um, and see that reflected through in things like your web core vital scores um, when you're trying to kind of lean out your web performance to make this run as efficiently as possible. So that's about a 42 times over file savings in overall size between the animated AVIF and the animated GIF formats. So um, really excited to see this um, continue to evolve in the future, and we hope some of you will find uses for it in kind of an early adopter stance um, if the, the use of animated content is a big portion of your website.